Hello everyone, Tom Pounder here, and this is the Digital in 5 show. This is where we take digital tools and trends that are happening around the world and apply it into our ministry context. And today we're going to talk about two ways that you can go live on YouTube that will help support your ministry. Now I love YouTube. I, I use YouTube for my ministry purposes. I do, I do devotionals there. I've done family devotionals and personal devotionals. I also use it to share our live stream and whatnot. I use it for a variety of different ministry purposes, but I also use it for YMSidekick.com. I, I share vlogs on that and I, I really love it. I, I think it's a great tool to use. But one thing I've always wanted to do that I've never done is to actually go live on YouTube or share my youth group event. Do a pre-recorded event and share it on YouTube. I've always wanted to do it, but again, because of time constraints and, and other priorities, I haven't been able to do that. Well, now that this coronavirus has just upended the whole world, it's given me all sorts of new ideas and new time to do things and to try out new opportunities. So I started doing YouTube Live and I'm gonna be using YouTube Premiere. Now basically YouTube Live is very simple. You just live stream what's happening at that moment. So you can put together a youth group event and just YouTube Live it and it's just, it's just a fantastic opportunity for you to stream live your youth group event if you wanna do that. Now YouTube Premiere is very similar where you're doing a, an event and it's kinda of live but it's simulated live. It's a pre-recorded thing and you're creating essentially a watch party for your event or whatever you're doing. Actually, it doesn't even have to be an event. It could be a testimonial that you do and you're setting up kind of a watch party of it and you're gonna to get to watch it together. Now, what I love about YouTube Live and YouTube Premiere, where I think it can really support your ministry, is it provides you an opportunity to create some excitement, some energy, like, hey, everyone come out to this event or come out to, to watch us on YouTube Live. And then also, it provides you an opportunity to chat back and forth with them online while it's actually happening. It's kind of like you're a chat host for your live stream that you're doing. So it's really a fun way to engage with people while an event is actually happening. Now, how does it support your ministry? Well, it supports your ministry really simply. YouTube is a great avenue for people to discover God. Churches are beginning to use it more and more now, but it's a great opportunity for you to share your content out there to people. Because after all, YouTube is a great search engine. People are on it all the time. Students are on it all the time. Generation Z, they're on it all the time. They're watching YouTube more than they're watching cable television now. And so it provides you an opportunity to share your content out there as a support for your ministry. Now you're gonna be doing lots of other things for your ministry, but putting the content up on YouTube provides an opportunity to support and be an add-on to your ministry to help really spread the word about what God is doing in the lives of people and the lives at your church right now. So it provides a great support opportunity. So, okay, you may be thinking, okay, that's great, it's a support, but what kind of content could you put up there? Well, there's a lot of great content you can put up there. Again, for student ministers, you could do a youth group live, or you could do a simulated youth group and just put it up during the middle of the week and have an opportunity to engage with people live while it's actually happening. You know, creative worship people can put up worship sets and they can engage with people while they're singing the songs on a live or premiere event. Same thing with creative art directors. They can put up testimonials that people have done, the, the what's your story, in a, a longer form than what you'd be able to share possibly in a, a church service. And even for children's ministers, you can put up devotionals up there, you can put up other fun activities for people to do and engage with children while it's actually happening. So there's a lot of great opportunities for you to put content up there and make it a live or premiere event where you're really engaging with people and get people excited about what's happening. So YouTube Live and YouTube Premiere are just two ways that YouTube can support your ministry, whether you are going through a pandemic or other kind of crisis in your area, or you just want to use it as a tool. It is a great tool to use, and I would strongly encourage you to use it. If you're not trying it now, definitely try it in the near future. You're not going to regret using YouTube Live or Premiere. All right, so that wraps up our video for today. If you've got stories about how you have utilized YouTube Live or YouTube Premiere, definitely put it in the comment section below or you can hit me up on Twitter 
at TA Pounder. Also, make sure you subscribe to this on YouTube or go to the Digital Bootcamp Facebook group and watch this every week. Digital Bootcamp is a great opportunity for you to learn more digital tools. All you have to do is just click the link found in the show notes uh, below. We'd love to get you connected in the Digital Bootcamp. And again, you can find all this content at ymsidekick.com. I'd love for you to check out all that kind of stuff as well. All right, here is why I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one, everyone.